Good morning. In this video lecture series, we are going to discuss about slotting machine. This is the slotting machine. The other name of slotting machine is also known as the slotter. This is the line diagram of the slotter. Some of the main parts of the slotter are RAM, the RAM which is attached to the column and the base. Above the base, the saddle is fitted. With the help of saddle, the calf plate is fitted and the rotary table is fitted. Um, in front of the RAM, tool and tool post is fitted. This is the simple line diagram of the slaughter. These are all some of the different types of uh, slaughter which is uh, readily available in the market for the machining of uh, different types of operations. What is slaughter? A machine which produces flat surfaces. In this type of slaughter, a ram is used to hold the tool. Here the tool reciprocates to and for motion. The ram reciprocates in vertical direction and the work is fed perpendicular to that of the tool. This is the working principle of slotting machine. Here the cutting tool repeatedly travels along the line A, B. Work is fed a small distance each time. Fed of work and the line of the tool motions are in same plane but perpendicular to that of the direction. In this video we are clearly shown that the tool moves from the direction that A from B. The tool line eventually reaches the position from AB to CD. This combination of two movements results in the production of the flat or plane surfaces that means A, B, C, D. The surface of the A, B, C, D machine is being machined. And also the work is supported on the rotary table. In the slaughter machine, there is a rotary table in that the workpiece is mounted. Table can have a longitudinal direction as well as that of the rotary movement. We can, with the help of the slaughter machine, we can make straight cut and also rotary cut. Rotational cuts can also be produced. Next, we will going to discuss about the classification of the slaughter. According to design and purpose of the slaughter, they are classified into various different types. Some of them are puncture slaughter and the next one is in precision tool room slaughter. First, we are going to discuss about puncture slaughter. It is intended for removing large amount of metal from heavy works. And also it is heavy and rigid machine and the ram is driven by rack and spiral pinion mechanism. Next, it is used for machining large casting and portions. Next one is this is the production slaughter. Next, we are going to discuss about the precision tool room slaughter. It is used for tool room work where the accuracy is most important thing. Next one is it is the, the precision type of tool room slaughter is used where it is the lighter in construction when compared to that of the puncture slaughter. Next, the slotting mechanism, main mechanism used here is the quick return mechanism and also it operates at high speeds and it is designed for mainly lighter cuts. In case of fissioning, uh, finishing the precision tool slaughter plays a major role if we want to produce the accurate finishing operation and also it is used for suitable for small to medium size work pieces. Next, we are going to discuss about the vertical type shaper and the that of the slaughter. In vertical shaper, the tool holding ram can tilt by about 10 degree with respect to that of the vertical axis. Whereas, in case of slaughter machine, in the slaughter lamp cannot tilt at all. We cannot able to tilt the ram of the slaughter, slaughter. Whereas, in case of vertical shaping machine, we can able to tilt the ram up to about 10 degree Celsius. This is one of the major difference between vertical shaper and slaughter. In all other aspects, vertical shaper and slaughter are similar. The only major difference is we can able to tilt the 
slot ramming machine with the help of uh, of certain about 10 degree celsius thank you